ECDL Advanced Excel Lesson 62 Filtering a Pivot Table. Okay, so in the last lesson, we'd finished with Survey 2. We'd actually started with a file called Survey, we'd made some changes, and at that point saved it as Survey 2. So we're going to carry on with this in this lesson. Okay, so how do we filter a pivot table? A single data item can be displayed in a pivot table by dragging a field to the report filter area and then using a drop down list to select it. More specific filtering is done using the row labels drop down inside the pivot table. Okay, so we're working, as I said, with Survey 2. If we drag the town field from the rows area, to filters. Towards the top of the worksheet, we've got a drop down. Let's change it so it filters just Sunderland. And we find there are 62 entries for Sunderland, and we're given the breakdown for male and female. OK, let's try another town. Let's say Durham. And if we see Durham, Again, we can see the grand total just for those records with Durham as the town, again with the breakdown of male and female. OK, so let's drag the town field back to the rows area. And we're back to where we started. OK, next point. Specific information can be displayed or hidden. If we click the Row Labels drop-down, which we'll find in the pivot table, all the towns are checked. Let's click on South Shields to uncheck it. If we click OK, the information for South Shields is hidden from the table. To redisplay the information for South Shields, we can either select the same drop down and either check inside South Shields, alternatively, check inside Select All. Then press OK. OK, there we go. We've now learnt how to filter within pivot tables. Please save this file as Survey 2, as we will be using this within the next lesson which will be grouping and sorting within pivot tables. OK, I hope this is still making sense, and I look forward to seeing you next time.